Many people during bear market cycles, especially the haters, they look at the wrong metric to determine whether an asset is going to do well in the bull market cycle or not. They look at price, okay? I get, and I get it. When it comes to SHIB, price is still down 90% from the all-time high. It's not moving as fast as some of the other assets. But I'll tell you this. There are plenty of assets that are still down over 90% from the all-time high. So we're right on pace with really everything else. And I will say this. <clears throat> price is a terrible, terrible indicator when there's not a capital influx really yet from outside the space. We have not seen big times of adoption or, or capital coming into the space yet. That time is coming in a bull market. But what I will say is there was one metric that you should be looking at during this time, and it's growth, adoption, and new holders. And guess what? SHIB is booming. SHIB is booming, baby. In fact, it hit a new high of 1.26 million non-zero addresses. So this is this is addresses that actually actively have SHIB in their wallet. And this has been a figure that has been steadily climbing for a very long period of time. The reason I say that this is a good metric is these times suck. Prices are not great. They've been down for a very long period of time. And right now, if you are taking steps forward when the market has been at its worst, where times are not really that exciting, you're doing something well. And SHIB, again, is garnering that attention from new holders. New people outside the space are entering and getting into SHIB Inu. Now, what's interesting about this is while this is climbing, while we are seeing new holders entering the SHIB space, more people are having this shift in terms of mindset. They're thinking more long-term. In fact, you can see the number of SHIB, the SHIB holders, which is those that have held for one year or longer, continues to increase. It continues to gain dominance throughout the SHIB holders, up to 74% now. Okay, What you're also seeing is the cruisers are, are changing as well. All right, that number is dropping because, again, a lot of those cruisers, the people that have held between one to 12 months, are transitioning over to, again, the holders, the long term, long term mindset thinkers. Traders are still very low percentage, 2%. This has been consistent for a while. It's hard for them to gain ground because many people are transitioning over towards this long term hold. So as SHIB adds more holders, as it continues to garner adoption, the people that are in SHIB right now are thinking more long term right? This is where you eventually can get to this point of supply shock, not enough SHIB to go around. But I think it's important to pay attention to this metric. If there's one out of everything you should be looking at, it's this. What is SHIB doing to garner adoption, right? It's growing. It's doing well. The whales are paying attention to it. There's more people from inside the space coming in. The community is working on active developments. These are the big things that are keeping SHIB in the eye of the public. Again, I'll reference it again. I've referenced it a million times. Fourth most search coin in the world, guys. Fourth most search coin. Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, SHIB. That's what you need to remember. Optics are everything. Being in the face of people is everything. When it comes to adoption, people are going to look at the ones that they're looking for. They're going to get adopted. They're going. <laughs> Best way to explain this. They're going to get into the coins that they're looking at the most. SHIB is the fourth most search coin in the world. What do you think is going to happen when mass adoption takes over? What are they going to get into? You think they're going to pick some Joe Schmo coin that they're not actively searching for? Or do you think they're going to look at SHIB? My bet's on SHIB. So appreciate you guys as always. Hope you enjoyed the video. Show your support below. As always, this is not financial advice, but hope you guys have a great day. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.